Hola amigos, Dr. Lebrun here. Today we're going to take a look at how to form Spanish commands. Also, we'll take a look at some exceptions to the rules and how to incorporate these into real sentences. All right, vamos a empezar. Okay, so if we take a look at our verb chart for hablar, how AR verbs are going to work, um, we've got two affirmative and two negative. Um, usted and ustedes forms. We've got some nosotros, and there's going to be some exceptions to the rule for that. And then also vosotros. So we're going to break this all down in the video, um, part by part. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the ER verbs. Let's take a look at that chart. Also notice that there's no command for the yo form. I can't command myself to do something. I just do it or don't do it. And um, let's take a brief look at the verb chart for ER and IR verbs. So again, we've got some two affirmative and two negative commands. Ustedes, usted commands, vosotros, and nosotros commands, and we're going to break these down part by part in this video. All right, let's take a look at some two affirmative commands. So all I'm going to do is drop the R for AR, ER, IR verbs, but then notice that the ER and IR are also going to end in an E. So basically it's like the third person singular form. So toma el libro, but I'm talking to one person that I know well. I'm to take the book. Or bebe la limonada, drink the lemonade. Escribe tu nombre, write your name. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, let's take a look at some irregulars. So since this is quite a common verb form, there's going to be a lot of irregulars. So venir is going to go to ben, so it just gets shortened. And an example might be ben aquí, come here. Um, decir goes to di, and I might say di la verdad, tell the truth. And salir goes to sal. And an example could be salt de aquí, get out of here. And hacer goes to as, as tu cama, make your bed. All right, and we have some even more irregular ones here. So tener goes to ten, like ten cuidado, be careful or have caution. Ir, very irregular, goes to ve, ve a la tienda, go to the store. And poner goes to pon, pon la mesa, set the table. And ser goes to say, S-E with an accent. Say simpatico, be nice. Um, one little trick to keep these memorized, um, think of Vin Diesel, the actor. You might say, Vin Diesel has 10 weapons. And that's just kind of a, a little catchy trick for that one. Vin Diesel, 10 weapons. All right, then we've also got two negative commands. If you're familiar with the subjunctive, it's going to be the same form. It's going to have the opposite ending. So an AR verb is going to end in E, uh, ER and IR verb is going to end in A. So if I want to say don't speak, no hables, don't eat, no comas, um, don't write, no escribas. All right, well, let's take a look at the usted and ustedes, how to make those commands. So I'm going to have the opposite endings for these. So normally hablar is going to be hable for the usted form or no hable, so speak or don't speak. And same thing for the ustedes, I'm just going to have the opposite ending. So for comer, just going to go to coman ustedes or no coman ustedes. So whether it is affirmative or negative, it's the same. And let's take a look at some vosotros. Vosotros might say, um, for the AR, ER verbs, just drop the R and add a D for the affirmative, hablad, y'all speak. And then for the negative, it's slightly different, just needs the opposite ending. So A will change to E, E change to A. No hablais, like don't speak. Um, comed, y'all eat, or no comais, don't eat. Talking to vosotros, just using this in Spain. And how about for nosotros? Nosotros, again, we're just going to put on the opposite ending. So I might say, um, nosotros hablemos, let's talk. Or no hablemos, let's not talk. Or nosotros comamos, let's eat. And no comamos, let's not eat. All right, and then the most common one, though, really for ear and nosotros is going to be saying, let's do something. And so people are just going to say, vamos a hablar. That's probably what you're going to hear most often. Vamos a hablar, let's talk. Or vamos a salir, let's uh, leave. And then sometimes people might even just drop off the vamos and they'll just say, a cenar, let's eat supper. A tra trabajar, let's get to work. And then the one you might hear Dora the Explorer say, vamonos. So it's kind of a contraction of vamos 
and nos and bominos. It gets an accent on that first day, bominos. Let's go. All right, so hopefully that helped out with the Spanish commands. Um, go ahead, click that subscribe button. It's going to give you free access to all my Spanish test prep videos. Adios. Ciao.